Hello, welcome to Cooking Lessons for Dad. My name is Karen Brayer and today we are going to make some delicious roasted red potatoes. It's a really easy recipe and delicious. So the ingredients in this recipe are red potatoes, olive oil, garlic powder or garlic granules, onion powder, kosher salt, rosemary, and you can use dried or fresh, ground pepper, and a cooking spray. So the first thing that we need to do is preheat the oven to 425 degrees, and I've already done that. The next thing you need to do is cover a baking sheet with foil, and I did that. And then we're gonna go ahead and spray it with a cooking spray. The next things we need to do, well, I already washed and scrubbed the potatoes. You need to clean them. And then you also need to dry them because if you don't dry them, the oil won't stick and you need the oil to stick. So they're ready. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them. You can cut them in half, thirds, quarters, depending on how big they are and how big you want them. The bigger they are, the longer they'll take to cook. And you could also use those little baby potatoes. There's red, yellow, purple. I've done that before, that's delicious too. Then you don't even need to cut them. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and I'll cut these like in thirds. We'll go ahead and put them in a bowl. And you need to cut out the bad spots and the little sprouts. And the bigger potatoes you'll have to more. Okay, so just um, get the spots out and cut them all to the size that you want. Okay, so we got our potatoes cut. The next thing that we need to do is we're going to add the oil and we're going to stir it together. So two to three tablespoons of olive oil. I'm gonna go ahead and put two. Just stir it together to get all the potatoes coated with olive oil. That will help the spices and herbs stick. Okay, they're coated pretty well. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add We've got garlic powder, or you could use garlic granules, one teaspoon, and you could add more or less to taste. You can also experiment with other seasonings. One teaspoon onion powder. One teaspoon kosher salt, okay. Go ahead and stir this up. Okay, we've got the, these spices. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add one to two teaspoons of dried rosemary, or I have fresh. If you use fresh, you wanna add three times as much. So one to two tablespoons of fresh. And I'll just do like one and a half. You could add more. Rosemary makes it look really pretty, so get enough to make it look pretty, plus it has an amazing taste. Okay, we got this. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add ground, fresh ground pepper. And you could just do it how you like it, as much as you want. And then stir it around. Okay, these are coated pretty well. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put them on a baking sheet. We wanna put them on a single layer. If you have too many, just get another baking sheet. Spread them out. So we're gonna bake them 40 to 45 minutes at 425 degrees. And we're gonna turn them halfway. So I'll, I'll set the timer for like 20 minutes. Turn them around. It already smells good. It's not even cooking yet. Okay, so I'm gonna go put it in the oven next. Okay, so we'll come back. I'm gonna set the timer so I don't forget in about 20, 25 minutes. Okay, so it's been 25 minutes. And we're gonna go ahead and turn the potatoes over. 
I'm just going to go ahead and use a fork and my fingers to turn them over. You could also put more seasoning on at this time if you wanted to, like salt or pepper. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put them back in the oven for 20 more minutes and I'm going to check them probably at 15. Okay, our roasted red potatoes are done. We've cooked them about 45 minutes total. You can see they're nice and crispy and golden, tender on the inside. So let's go try them. Okay, so these smell delicious. They look delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and try them. These are a great side dish to almost any meal. And you can cook these to your desired crispiness. They should be soft on the inside. But here you go. You could also add more salt and pepper, adjust the seasonings to your taste. But I'm gonna go ahead and try one. You can see how easy these are, so I think you should try them this week. You're gonna love them. Okay, we've got one crispy, nice and golden, probably really hot. Mmm. So good. Too hot. So, that was really good. It was really hot still. You might want to let them cool a little bit. But, if you can't wait, got some ketchup. They're great to dip in ketchup if you want to. I always look for excuse to dip things in ketchup. If you like these roasted red pota potatoes, you'll probably also love my baked sweet potato fries. You can check those out in another lesson. Okay, got to try one more bite with ketchup. All right. Have a good day. Mm. So good.